Hey guys, and today I want to talk a little bit about oh, about what it takes to develop a Drupal module. And um, let me first point out that I've got violent hiccups. So if you're wondering why I'm acting slightly strange, that's why. Um. So, let's get started. This tutorial is going to be good for beginner Drupalers who want to de develop Drupal modules that know Ooh, a little bit about Drupal and no PHP. Um, and there's a couple of things I want to do. We're going to get started in a minute and developing our module, but first I will... I want to say that I'm not a PHP guy, so um, all of this is going to be um, really basic stuff. But I just, I just wanted to throw this out there today to kind of help coders who want to get started with Drupal. So the first thing I want to direct you to is over on Drupal.org. 206 753 and it's about so, oh, creating Drupal modules and I'm just going to show you the, oh, the core of what you need to do today but this has a lot more in information the next thing is api, oh, API .drupal org where you can find out about the various hooks and um, the one we're going to be using today is um, uh, we're going to be using uh, what we're going to be using the perm hook hook perm so all we're going to do is add a custom module here to our site and I'm just going to show you kind of a really simple low level example today but again hope it will help people who just want to get started coding for Drupal so the first thing we're going to do is create a new fo fo look, folder and just let's get started. We're gonna want to create a new folder, and this is in sites or oh, oh, all modules. Uh, oh, um, so let's get started. First, we're gonna want to create a new folder with the name of our module. I, oh, I'm just gonna call mine test we're going to want to open up that folder we're going to want to create two files to start off with um, one of them is going to be our info file oh, this is what's going to tell Drupal about our um, module. So we're just gonna say its name equals test We understand its description no. to type here and the version of Drupal it works with we're gonna set core equal to 6.x and we're gonna say that the version version
is 6 dot x dash 1 dev that means the development version so we're going to save that file and we're going to save it as our module name dot it oh, dot into so test dot info mm. now where does all our code oh, for this module go well it goes in the other empty file and what do we call that we just call it the module name so test dot module and, and how do we code in it well it's php code so i'm just going to switch my syntax to php I'm going to just start off with an opening PHP statement and then obviously I'm going to do a closing PHP statement and oh, in here is where all our module code is going to go um, what we're going to want to do is um, set up some things so core so for Drupal mo modules are what the permissions are so this is the kind of syntax we're not going to use oh, and again this is going to help this this is only going to help PHP guys and I'm not one of those so um, do whatever you will we're going to define a new function <coughs> and we're going to call it our module name <coughs> underscore and then the name of the hook so in this case we're using the necessary one which is hook underscore perm so whatever your module name <coughs> is underscore perm and um, the next thing we're going to add is two brackets two brackets this would be for passing in and out parameters but we don't need to do oh, to do that in this case and um, as we just don't need to do that Um, so we're going to create our opening brackets and then after that we're going to open and close a curly bracket and inside this curly bracket is where all our data for the function is going to go so we're going to define all our permissions within this um, What we're going to do is just uh, add in some uh, brackets. Um, I'm going to give it a few variables. So we're going to say that one of the permissions Drupal can give is to access our module. Um, 
and I need to mark this up correctly. I'm going to do a comment and say that another one it can give. is to administer the module and lastly we're going to say that it can access the content of the variables Um, but we're also we're all, we're also gonna put one last one, which is to create content. Um, I'm then gonna and that functions now ordinarily you would add more functions because that's the point of a module but I'm just gonna um, end this here for now because it's only a test so hopefully that's my dot module file and I may just look at some of the syntax if this goes wrong but um and it's cool we should now have a module if you're doing a module in real life you'd also have some uh dot tpl dot php files for themers and dot css files i'll shout at you and throw you and see if you don't include .tpl.php files because they're good for themers so you would do test .tpl .php and then lay out the content however you want it and you would also do your module name dot css file um so that's just the core of a module you're probably going to have more files but let's just go and enable our module now so if we refresh Hopefully, if I haven't done anything drastically wrong, if we scroll down, we now see test module and it's got the version that we set and the description that we set. So how it's called we just creating a module. Now you would obviously put some more PHP and override things that you wanted in that um dot module file and this is pretty much as far as we're gonna go in the tutorial but I just wanna see if this works or if there's something wrong with my PHP syntax. Cause I have a feeling that I didn't mark up that um that syntax for those permissions correctly. If 
we just close out all of these. Um, the white screen means that I got something wrong in my module. So I'm just going to troubleshoot using the creating modules guide because I, I have a feeling that I got something wrong. I now come back to with the proper syntax in a minute. Okay, hey guys, what I completely forgot is that you have to um, return an array of this data you can't just do it so um we're gonna use a syntax return array That was also why it wasn't marking up my um, things correctly. So now, if we save that and refresh, hopefully, we should have a triple sight again. This white screen of death. Is generally a sign that something is broken on your Drupal site. So, whenever you get a m new module and it does that, just be aware that that's what it is. So, our module is enabled. Um, so now, if we go over into our permissions screen, I just got and we're going to permissions. Hopefully we should see the permissions of our new module. So if we see our test module, we had access and we can enable the things for it and create. So that was just the basic idea of the um, thing that we need to create. And it's core, we only use two files. So that's awesome. And hopefully it helps coders to get started making modules for Drupal. So, happy module creation, and I hope this helped you. Thanks for watching, guys.